Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, this is how it started with Geo Media. They were going on strike. Uh, they were saying that they demanded better working conditions. They demanded more money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is how this is how it's going. Uh, Geo Media has announced that they're going to start using AI to write articles. Oh. Well, now. Well, well, I can now. tell you that's not a good plan, but okay. It's not a good plan, but, uh, you know, we said when they went on strike that you basically put a big target on yourself when it's time to make cuts. You've just proven that you're going to be a problem, mm -hmm. you know? So we're going to we're gonna talk about this. We're going to talk about AI and journalists and how there are going to be a lot fewer of them. And I'm very, very sorry, but there is, uh, frankly, too much news, quote unquote, news content and hot takes out there, not enough readers anymore. And a lot of you drove them off. Right, that's actually true. You know, you drove them away. So now the readers that are left, they just want news. And if you can't just give them news without opinions, well, the robots can. I think there's just too many little ones, which is why they're, they've all gotten bought up by the places like Geo Media, and then yeah. it's just more the same. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, if you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! I swear she is not AI. Geeky I am exists. not AI. She's, she's not I AI. I am not AI. So I this, am not AI. I am not AI. If I kick it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, anyway, let's let's talk about this. Uh, so this was announced that they're going to begin using AI to generate content. Again, so many of these websites are using AI, and look, we we've experimented. I'll be honest, we've experimented with AI. It's not very good. <laughs> I was wrong. Like I experimented with with drugs. I experimented with with same sex relationships. I experimented with AI. I've been experimenting with geeky uh, for years now. That's right. And um, you know, I. I you have to push certain buttons to get the results that you want. <laughs> you know, more often than not, you push certain buttons and the results are not what you expected. Right. And then you're like, shit, I better just shop and go to my corner now. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. um, but no, I mean, that, that, that's true. You still need a um, a robot wrangler at this point in yeah, time. Yeah, you still need people to, because you have to edit these things. We've done yes. articles and you cannot post it as is. There, You have to do some definite checking and a editing. lot of factual errors because yeah. uh, especially chat gpt because they have it um perpetually stuck in 2021 like it can't move beyond it can but uh they have it stuck in the past for for reasons Plus you have to have somebody who knows exactly how to word things to get it to work too because right. like it has you worded in such a way to get the exact result you want to do and you have to know how to to basically tell it what to do specifically so what is what is going on and, and we've seen this with uh you know other media outlets too and you know people have had fit. i think gamers group they were looking for an editor to basically take the job of like 10 freelancers so you write a whole bunch of uh, AI articles. You have them yeah, generate five hundred a week or something. Yeah, like that. and then like, holy shit! And yeah. then you have to, you still have to edit that content, right? Because it's not, it's not show right. You can't just like turn the AI loose. You have to, you know, babysit it, or it's gonna write all kinds of bullshit. Just like freelancers. Yeah. Plus, you have to have somebody that like can tell it what to write. I mean, yeah, you can do those lists, and I think all these at these places use a list because I've seen the lists, and yeah. you see them in lockstep. With the same kinds of articles, but you, they don't even go so far. So you have to have people that can think for themselves to come up with, you know, a creative angle or a, a, a headline, something to do research on. And a lot of these things, you have to tell it what to do. So you still need people to come up with what you want to talk about. Yep. So um, they said this is a limited trial, uh, and a limited trial uh, for now, uh, which will produce only a handful of stories. For the publishers, AV Club, Gizmodo, and uh, the takeout and deadspin, AV Club and Gizmodo, the ones who are complaining the most about the working conditions. Mm -hmm. They wanted full-time jobs. They wanted uh, livable wages. They wanted health insurance. They did not want to move to L.A. I said they didn't want to move, I remember, yeah. So the company builds the technology as a means of generating the kinds of content its staff dislike producing in the first place, such as a rote list of the best sandwiches in every state. So st basically, Im basically information that people are searching for they don't want to write about. Are they actually searching for a list of the best sandwiches in your state? Sure. They probably are. How is the AI going to know? What, did they go out and try the sandwiches? No. It's just like we, we look Do these freelancers these the, try the sandwiches? Well, no. True. These are the sandwiches no. that are mentioned the most. Well, no. This is all about what are people searching for. Search. So we're going to have this feedback loop of what are people searching for. Let's have a robot generate an article for them 
so we can get more hits on our website. Speaking of the list, I told you there's a list out there of what Google wants to see. This right here. An article titled, A Chronological List of Star Wars Movies and TV Shows. I can, yes, that is on the list. I've seen it. Yep. And everybody and their brother has done it. Yep. Um, so this is James Whitbrook, who I think is uh, from IO9, the deputy editor of IO9. So an AI-generated article appeared on IO9. I was informed approximately 10 minutes beforehand, and no one at IO9 played a part in editing its publication. Here's a statement I've sent to Geo Media. You're going to be fired. You're going to be fired. Well, so they didn't even check it before they posted no. it. Oh, there probably is a length list of corrections. I'm sure that he's right about that. No, he's he's entirely right. I'm sure he's completely right. Uh, I, I will give you that because, um, again, we've experimented with it. It's But what they're doing, James, I hate to break it to you, is – they are replacing you. They're they're going to get to a point where they will get an editor who will edit these stories. They will hire one editor to basically take the place of 10 freelancers or 10, you know, specifically full timers because you guys cost a hell of a lot more. And they're going to just keep cranking out clickbait. Well, I'm um, to James's, you know, in his defense, he's not wrong. It was it's, it's probably dog shit and it's, it's yeah. going to hurt them negatively because people aren't going to come read it. It's it, it, and you can't read it. You can't make it out. It's a lot of garbledy gook. It's full of shit. It's inaccurate. People are going to associate your, your site with that, which is why these sites have died previously. And then they're not going to come back. Yeah. Um, and again, I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. The reason the traffic is down and that they have to net search traffic is people are not going to your site on their own anymore for various reasons. And I think a lot of it has to do with hot takes. A lot of it is they pivoted the video and look, we're not talking out of our asses here. We own websites. We own pop culture websites. We've worked for websites 15, almost 20 years. So things are changing. And the reality is, is you're not playing ball with the site owners. If you don't like it, go start your own site. You know, I'm sorry. This, this one sentence makes it amuses me greatly because you know, it is shyly written. It is riddled with basic errors. Probably true. And closing the comment section off, it denies our readers the lifeblood of this network, the chance to publicly hold us accountable and call this work exactly what it is. Well, you guys get pissed when people call you out on shit all the time. Not just io9, but like different different websites that are their pop culture websites have been out there targeting fans for years. Don't like it when the fans fight back. And they're like, well, this keeps our, our, our readers yeah. from saying something. You get pissed when they do. And... You know, I've noticed a trend on a lot of the pop culture sites now that they are chasing obvious search terms. Yeah. Like, it's very obvious that they're chasing search terms. They don't care about the journalistic quality. Oh, they don't care about Inside opinions. the Magic. That's what you're talking about. Inside the Magic. Uh, <laughs> God, I've never seen a site fall so far so fast. But the reality is, is they're probably raking in lots it's of traffic. It's just funny to me, though. They probably are. You see these headlines, and it's like, you're like, oh, my God, what's going on? Like, you know, oh, strollers are banned. And it's like from, like, one park. And it's like... Oh, and, and, you know, this happened and this person got hit in the face by flying fish or something. And you look and it was like in 2012, someone on Reddit talked about how they got hit. And I'm like, that's not news. <laughs> like, it's just... So James here, um, boy, his stapler is getting moved. He doesn't realize it. Like James. Oh, I think James does realize it, which is why. They moved your something. stapler. He's and... not wrong. It makes him look bad. Uh, the article was published in our CMS by someone outside of the editorial. Yes, because the people that actually own the websites also have the keys right. to those websites. I don't disagree with him on this. No yeah. one employed at io9 or Gizmodo looked at or interacted with the piece at any point of its creation prior to or after its release. You can expect people on the back end to come in with their AI stories and start inserting stuff into your website to drive up the traffic because the ad rates are terrible. I've talked about this so many times. If this is the first time you've watched one of our videos, the ad rates are down literally 70%. It's bad. Not, not 270. They are down to like 25 to 30% of what they were just a year or two not ago. Not even a year ago, just a few months ago. It's even. it's absolutely awful. So my, my take on this is like, if you don't like it, James, by all means, go start your own website. This is not going to change, and by you complaining about it publicly like this, you have just put a huge target. I know, but on your I, what sucks is James isn't wrong. He's not he's, wrong. He's, he's mad because he's representing I don't know, representing all the writers that are there working, and you know that want you know, unions and things like that, because um, they're doing a specialized job. And now this AI is supposed to be replacing them, but doing a really bad job, and that makes everybody that works there look like they're doing what the hell they're doing, including especially the editors, because you're like, how did this get past the editors? 
Well, the editors didn't even get a chance to look at it. So it makes James look really, really, really bad. So I'm going to tell you a little secret here, uh, James, especially about the company you're working for, Battle.net and all these other gamers group. They don't care about the actual quality. They only care about the revenue being generated. Okay, and if your site's not generating as much revenue as they think it could, and they're probably talking to people on the side, they're coming in being like, hey, we could triple your traffic with a bunch of AI mm -hmm. articles, and you could you could get your revenue up to where it was before or better because you're just shitting out articles. They're going to do it. And at the end of the day, James, you don't own the website. You may work for the company, and it's a very brutal truth because I, I like you, was once an editor uh, for multiple publications, and I realized early on that I was not the boss. I tried, I fought as hard as I could, but I was not the boss. Nope. And uh, I actually had one publication, I had the publisher do an end run around me and post an op-ed piece and ran it himself mm -hmm. in the front of the paper. It was highly polarizing, political. I don't and you know. had to feel all the shit from I that. had to take all the shit for it because my name was on the publication as the editor, but I had nothing to do with it. He just put it in there himself. Um, you're going to have to go start your own website if you want things to be different. That's all I can. Good luck to you. That's all I can say. You're not wrong in this instance. You're not I'm, wrong I'm gonna, in this we're case. Gonna take, we're honestly taking your side. Yeah. But given the demands that have been made of late and the lack of readership a lot of these sites now have, now face, because of choices that editorial staff and you know staff writers have made over who to, to piss off, um, you know, it is what it is. They need money. They need hits. You guys aren't bringing it, so they're going to try to bring it their own way. And it's not going to change. And honestly, but it's going to be written poorly. I agree with you. Yeah. And if you if you want to if you want to keep the money rolling in at this point, though, I, my personal opinion, my advice to you, James, and so many other journalists, go find a way out. Go start your own website. Go find another job someplace else, and then tell people why you quit after you've yeah, quit. Yeah, that's probably true. Because now you might just uh, you know. you're going to get fired. You're going to get fired. I guarantee you're going to get fired, but maybe you don't care. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Okay. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.